So Lady Bothorpe is going to run in the Duke of Cambridge, which is on Wednesday, and I'm really excited. I mean, I'm really lucky because she's my second runner since I've had horses to run at Royal Ascot. And I know for the majority of people, they never have a Royal Ascot winner. So to be in that position where I'm going to go twice as an owner is just mind blowing. You know, and the fact that she's probably got a really good shot, you know, shot at it as well is even more exciting. She's won all her best races without a crowd. I mean, so many of the horses, I mean, if you think all the two-year-olds, you know, a huge amount of them have never raced in front of people. So it's going to be interesting to see whether that changes the dynamic at all. But she's old enough and ugly enough, I think, that she'll be able to handle it. The lockage was incredible. Before any race, there's a part of you going, you know, we could, we could win. What will I do if we win? You know, what, what am I going to do? But the other bigger part of you is going, you know, this is a huge mountain to climb and we've got to have a go, but we've got really no real chance. You know, look at the horses that are in that race. And I had to watch the race back on the television because I don't really know what happened. I was so focused on her and when Oshin pulled her out and she just went for it. I was so proud of her. And look, Palace Pier is a cut above and you know, we got close, but I think that was with us giving absolutely 110%, and that was with Frankie, like, you know, chilling on top of Palace Pier, probably. So I'm not going to take anything away from that run. But to see her do what she did was phenomenal. And, you know, to have a horse that still, I think, only, literally a year ago, and less than a year from when she had the race, she was rated 81. And, you know, I sit here today and she's rated 117. She's one of the you know, best horses in the world. That's amazing. You know, we come to Tattersall's and we buy a dream and horses like this don't come around very often. It was always the plan to keep going with her because she's a racehorse first and foremost. And we'll see, you know, we'll see how we go this year as to whether she keeps racing next year. I think she has quite a loud voice and she will tell us when she's had enough. My great-grandmother's maiden name on my mum's side was Bothorp. I like, I like sort of making human names. So Mrs. or Lady or Queen or whatever. So she became Lady Bothorp. So she's named after a real person, but not a famous person. The, the National Hunt horses have got more possibly sort of inspirational names so that they can trudge through three miles of mud and hopefully get a little bit of inspiration from from their namesakes. Choosing the silks, it's as, almost as bad as choosing the racehorse name. So at least the racehorse name, you know if, if you're lucky, you'll have another racehorse and you can use another name, the silks. You're like, okay, this is forever. It's a terrible feeling. So I do love color. And so the colors are, green is our sort of family business color. When Banks was a grain merchant in its own right, it was green was the color. So that's the bank's color. Purple is because I love purple and it's regal and I just think it adds some gravitas. And orange is the color of Luton Town Football Club and it's a little nod to Luton Town Football Club. If I have a Saturday runner I will go racing rather than to the football but you know when we're not when we're allowed to go I will go to Luton most weeks if they're playing at home yeah and I'll go to some of the away games too. I love coming to Tattersall's. If I can't be there the whole time, I'd rather be there for the viewing days before the sale and then someone else can stick their hand up and bid. That, While I love that, it's not the important bit. I want to go and see the horses. So, you know, I manage to pick really, really expensive horses generally. I've got a good eye, but unfortunately I've got a good eye that I can't afford. So, you know, we went round and we looked at lots of horses and I loved Lady Bothorp because she had grey in her tail. I mean, what kind of a reason is that? That's terrible. But also, she, just, she had something about her and we liked her page. You know, I've learned a lot from James and interestingly, certainly on the flat side, most of the horses I buy are from young mares. They're often first or second foals. You know, Lady Bee's a second foal, Mrs Gallagher was a first foal. And so if they've got a decent page, you can hopefully improve it. And with both Mrs. Gallagher, because when I bought her, Harry Angel hadn't shown how amazing he was going to be. And with Lady Bothorp, Speaking Colours was looking okay, but again, he came on amazingly. And obviously, 
you know, Pretty in Grey, the younger sister, has also, I mean, she's rated in the 90s. So, you know, Maglietta Fina, the mayor, is obviously producing some pretty groovy babies. So no, I remember, you know, seeing her and then, yeah, we got her and it was amazing.